Hello guys, I'm Tony, Explore Crypto Channel. And if you wonder how to open your plug and play Lightning Network node like Kaza node, Nodlit, or Raspi Blitz, Raspi Bolt uh, to the Lightning Network, uh, how to make the ports forwarding, like open your port to, to the rest of the world, uh, how to allow your node to, uh, to receive uh, incoming channels, it's all in this video. So let's run the intro and I'm going to explain. So as I said in the intro, this solution will work on all the plug and play nodes like Kaza node. Nodolit, Raspi Blitz, Raspi Bolt, uh, all the single board computers, nodes, uh, it will all uh, work. Uh, so the way of doing that is basically to uh, log in into, into your router. So type in the address 192.168.11 uh, and uh, we will go from this point. Uh, if you are wondering where to find the uh, password to your router, it, the username is usually admin and password is usually on the back of the uh, of the case of your router. So uh, I will post some uh, some photos here on the screen so you can uh, see how it looks like on other routers. But just lo look for those uh, for for the password. You should know the the password for your router anyway if you want to change, for example, the the Wi-Fi password. So uh, so yeah, you probably have this information stored somewhere. Uh, and let's uh, let's dive into this video. This video is specifically created for home routers and to log in into your router, uh, just go into 192.168.1.1 or 1.0 or something similar. Uh, you will see it in the Google, uh, it depends on your uh, router provider. For me, it's uh, Cisco Linksys and it works uh, similarly for like D-Links, uh, Asus and other routers. Uh, and the control panel is different in every router but basically we are looking for some specific options that should be available in every home router. And uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, I'm doing this video on the Raspi Blitz. Uh, it's the same for the Casa node, for the Nodal, for any other home uh, Lightning Network device, uh, Lightning Network node uh, that you can either buy or set up on Raspberry Pi or on your laptop by yourself. So the first thing we want to do is set up our DHCP, which is the stat static IP. Uh, so we want to have our device, our node, uh, to have the same IP over the time. So even if we like reboot the, the router, if something changes, uh, the IP of the router would be the same. So let's click on DHCP reservation and you will find this uh, feature on your router as well. So I'm in the DHCP reservation reservation uh, panel and this is my node it's called explore crypto it's the raspberry pi raspi blitz uh, lightning network node uh, ip address is that one that 149 uh, i want to select it and add clients yeah it's in my list i want to save those settings and move forward <laughs> and the next step uh, as uh, after we set up our DHCP uh, would be to root the ports. So we want to find some option that's called single port forwarding or port forwarding. In my case, it's under applications and gaming. I don't know why, but <laughs> uh, usually it's under wireless or, or some general uh, settings. But in my case, it's applications and gaming port forwarding. And the first thing would be to open the port for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has the port of 8,333. So I will open the ports for Bitcoin for both. Uh, here, IP address, uh, we remember my Raspberry Pi node is that 149. I will enable it and call it Bitcoin just for 
just for me to, to know that this is the Bitcoin port. And if I would click uh, save setting right, right now, uh, on my Raspi, Raspi Bleeds the, the settings would change, like uh, the Bitcoin port would become from red to, to like orange, so it would become open. And uh, we are looking for, for exactly this, uh, this outcome, so the next step would be to set up the lightning uh, port open it so it's uh, 9735 and 9735 here both the same uh, IP for my Raspi Blitz is 1.149 that we set up to be a static IP and basically now we can save, save our settings let's continue And after a second on my Raspi Blitz, all the ports are now open. So now I can even search my node uh, Explore Crypto in the 1ML uh, uh, Lightning Network Explorer. And as we can see, it has now the IP assigned. Uh, before it had only this, uh, this public key. So I couldn't uh, connect to it from other device. I couldn't connect to create like channels into it from other, other nodes because I didn't know the, the IP address, uh, the ports were closed and uh, I wasn't able to, to do that. Uh, so yeah, uh, it works uh, for Raspberry Blitz, uh, for Kaza node, for Nodal, any, basically any node that is plug and play and for all the home routers. So just go into your settings uh, 192.168.1.1 and you will for sure find those the same uh, options that uh, I was showing uh, before. So I hope I helped you in this particular video. Uh, I hope your node is now connected to the rest of the world. Uh, you can uh, receive incoming uh, transactions. Uh, I already did the tutorial for Raspberry Blitz, but I didn't show this step specifically because uh, it's a step uh, that you can do for all the uh, all the nodes that are plug and play. Uh, so, uh, so basically, I created this separate video for it. If you like this video, hit the like button underneath. And if you are looking for more content like that, I will be doing uh, a lot more Lightning Network uh, information, Lightning Network tutorials. I will be doing BTC Pay Server tutorials, uh, going to work with uh, Samurai Wallet and Wasabi Wallet for a while to, to give you my opinion about it, the presentation, how it works, how the privacy uh, features uh, are working, is it, uh, is it any good? Uh, and yeah, if you, if you are enjoying this type of content, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. So have a great day and see you later. Bye.